Hey, this is Peggy with Easy Peasy Machine Embroidery. Um, this video is not going to be about the Premiere Plus software, but rather the firmware update that goes on the original Epic uh, Embroidery Machine. Um, I'm going to make a disclaimer here. I am no way a professional, so bear with me. And remember to like and to subscribe to my channel, and that way you get updates when I add new videos. So, we're going to continue on and do the firmware update for the original Epic. The first thing that I would like you to do is go to HuskavarnaViking.com and then go to Support and Updates. Go ahead and find the designer Epic. And then scroll down to the Learn More. This is the page that you're going to get the directions on how to do it. The directions are right here. And if you scroll down, your firmware update is right here. So you're just going to click on it. And um, I have uh, uh, DSL, which is not the fastest, and it took about an hour. Um, if you have uh, high-speed internet, it should take less time. So remember to um, save it in a place that you know where to go back and get it to unzip it. And once it's downloaded, go ahead and come back to this page and go ahead and read this. Basically, you're just going to turn your machine off um, after you, and, and this is after you have um, unzipped the file itself and, and put that file um, on a USB stick. The file name should have an extension of .clo. And so you're gonna take it over, um, turn off your Epic, insert the USB file in the Epic and hold down the reverse button while you're turning on your Epic. Keep that reverse button down, down until you start seeing um, updating firmware on your screen and that's all there is to it. Pretty easy peasy. If you don't know how to unzip your um, firmware file, then go ahead and continue watching here. Um, I put my firmware update on my desktop in a folder called firmware update. And right here is the zip file. And all I'm going to do on this machine, my computer, is do a right click and then go down to WinZip and unzip to folder, which is the folder that I'm in right now. And I click unzip to the folder. Once the um, zip file is unzipping, you should see extracting firmware update to .clo. And then you're going to see a folder for the update. Once the firmware has been unzipped, you're going to go into the folder, not the zip file, but the folder. And you're going to take that firmware update and you're going to hold down the CTRL button plus the C at the same exact time. You're going to scroll down to your USB and you're going to hold down the CTRL button plus the V as in Victor. And it will say not enough space if your um, USB is too small. And in this case, my USB is too small, so I'm going to have to go get another USB. 
Um, usually uh, an eight gigabyte USB will do the trick. And basically that's how you do it. Once the CLO file is on a USB, all you do is follow the directions that I talked about and you're good to go. Thanks, bye.